I won't let anyone hurt my mistress anymore. Mistress saved me when I was a kitten. She took me in, fed me and kept me warm. She deserves loyalty. I won't leave her side, not until she wakes. My heart stopped beating and my flesh fell away. No matter, I'm staying here. The tension eases out from the cat's skeletal form. It sits. Go on, I'll be watching. The young girl lies still and silent in the center of the floor, bound by chains. Difficult to do anything for her until those are removed. The young girl lies still and silent. The young girl lies silently on the floor, eyes open and staring. Her only movement is the tiniest rise and fall of her chest. The girl's eyes don't even flicker as you lean in close. Her fingers seem to grip you ever so slightly. The girl's grip tightens. A flush of color spreads across her previously bloodless features. She's grown stronger, strong enough to move, perhaps. Wherever you take her, I hope it's a better place than this. Thank you. Take care of her. Cure her if you can. My task here is done. The chill of the vault seems even colder for what you have just witnessed. locked away with demons. Demons bound by enchanted chains. There's something barbaric about it all. 
A dusty old chamber with a demon locked inside. There's a metaphor in here somewhere. Why these folks would volunteer for it is beyond me. Forever in the dark. Forever amid the cursed. This was a place of sadism, not salvation. A trembling spirit wrings his hands, his eyes darting around the room. They settle on you. What are you doing here? What do you want? You mustn't linger. You mustn't remain. One must not mean harm to do it. Please, go. His hands shake. He clears his throat. As a priest, I had a patient. A dastardly demon held him in its grasp. The demon absorbed all his pain. In exchange for his soul. I was certain would only diminish the demon by overwhelming my patient with pain. I planned to torture the demon until it gave up its grip over the poor fellow. I began in earnest, but his cries pierced my heart. Even if the treatment could save him, I hadn't the stomach nor the soul for it. So I lied to the others. I told them there was no helping him. I told them to seal us down here, where he could do no harm, where I could guard his prison. Better one soul damned than two. This demon gluts itself on pain. Only the utmost torture would draw him forth. I couldn't do it. I refused to subject myself or my comrades to such... such barbarism. If you've the stomach for such an ungodly task, I won't keep you from it. Perhaps you could inflict the pain that's needed, but it is a devil's business. We broke the lever for the door when we locked him inside, so that none would ever attempt to free him. No matter what, the demon itself must not be freed. The horrors he would wreak upon our world. What? The chains bind their captive. You're not going to walk away, are you? Are you? I 
I know you can hear me. Nothing. There's got to be more to it. Nothing. There's got to be more to it. You should go from here. This is no place for the living, for the sane. My vigil is eternal. It won't cease until I'm convinced, truly convinced. Something might change for the better. For now, we remain as we must, stuck between action and inaction. Watching, waiting. As the levers fixed, you could... Perhaps you could extract him. But you'd have to be able to contain him, defeat him, once he'd been loosed. Who am I to say if you're prepared for that? I suppose... I suppose the alternative is no better than trusting you. Go. Do what you can. Be wary. This demon knows no decency, no remorse. Ah, look at you. Handsome. Handsome. Come close, won't you? A little closer still. My, how long it's been. How very, very long it's been. Would you believe Brother Calvin locked me up in here because he said I was possessed by a demon? Just because I don't feel pain. Have you ever heard anything so, so, so superstitious? Well, they didn't look like me, did they? Maybe I was a little kooky back then. But you'd be amazed how sobering millennia of imprisonment can be. P -p Praise the Seven, right? Praise the seven, that's all over. His mouth twists in an ugly snarl as he stutters that last sentence, and a flicker of something unrecognizable yet malevolent flashes across his gaunt face. You are here to free me, right? The dwarf's face becomes calm, serene even. He looks into your eyes, tranquil as a baby lamb. Well then, just destroy the pillars. Nothing to it, for one not wrapped in chain. You're not going to walk away, are you? Are you? As you strike it, the dwarf's face changes, becomes softer somehow. He almost looks like a different person. When he speaks, his voice is quieter, more reserved. Yes, please. Release me from him. The pain. I can take it. But he can't. The dwarf's face flickers and changes, becoming hot red and enraged. What are you doing? Stop it! Stop it now! Stop it and destroy the pillars! Is that all you've got? Come on. Come. 
Come on, come over here. <sighs> this is the moment. Listen, close there. Pick up the strength. Please, bloody prison. There's please, bloody prison. There's bloody body. The demon has been defeated at last, but the fellow he possessed had to be sacrificed too. Poor fella. Still, better freedom than a life beholden to a demon. He may have been possessed, but he was a person. Innocent as you or I. This isn't right. Death is preferable to servitude. He's a lucky man. He is gone, taken at last by the wicked spirit that consumed him. A tragedy has happened today. A tragedy indeed. 
I have no more reason to keep my vigil. I failed him. The spirit of a priest lifts his eyes to yours. When he speaks, he rasps as if there were dust in his voice. I watch the gate. Who goes there? I watch the gate. I watch the one who must be watched. I watch the one who should be dead but can only be chained. I watch the gate. You must leave. The gate is locked forever. The lock is broken. The key is thrown away. The master is on the up. From stone to dust, from stone to dust. The lever part of the lock mechanism seems to be missing. There is no prize with which to open the door. Leave the g The Great Forge is black with a... the game I watched the game the legal part of the lock making a presence accosts you you cannot see it yet know it is there it is in front of you then behind then finally within you hear its whispers the master must teach you so that you may become a master in turn and then it is gone
I watch the gate. I watch the gate. You must leave. The one who must be chained will take your soul. Do not let it speak. Do not let it speak to you. No. You must leave. You must not speak to it. You must not speak to the one who must be chained. It will steal your soul. It will steal your very soul. Kill it if you can, but do not let it speak. I beseech you, do not let it speak. The lock will work. The gate will open. I am the key. I am the gate. A lizard on all fours lies chained in the pit. The raw power you sense within her is barely contained by the spell that binds her. Do you know who you are, God Woken? Do you know what you seek? I am you, but greater. I am God Woken, born to be divine, all powerful. So powerful the priests imprisoned me here. They feared me, and so they should. I am fearsome, and I am generous. I will grant my powers to the God Woken who would use them for good. Deep inside you, the word power wakens your God's desire, for power is what it wants. Desire rises to surround your heart, but its avarice is tinged with suspicion. Not always, my friend. And not this time. Come, release me. Untold power will be yours. These are chains of pure source. Not even the divine, the gods rest his tortured soul, could break them. Set me free, and I shall give you the power that you seek. Show me the goodness of your heart, God Woken, and I will share my power. Take one step closer to divinity. Set me free. I know you. You are better than this. Show me the goodness of your heart, God Woken, and I will share my power. Set me free. The lizard closes her eyes, takes a deep breath, and begins to speak inside your head. Her voice transfixes you in a warm and pleasant way, but soon the treacle in her words begins to nauseate. I know who you are. I know what you want. I know your good heart. I know you want to set me free. With a jolt, she is repulsed. When next she speaks, it is through gritted teeth. I know who you are. I know what you want. You will not get it, for you are nothing. Nothing. Get out! Kill it if you can, but do not let it speak. I watch the game. Who goes there?
You are nothing. Get out! of your heart I know who you are I know the weakness of your heart I know who you are I know I know who you are I know the weakness of your heart I know who you are I know the weakness of your heart I know the weakness of your heart. I know who you are. I know the weakness of your heart. the weakness of your heart. You are nothing. of your heart. I know who you are. I know the weakness of your heart. I know who you are. I know the weakness of your heart. I know who you are. I know the weakness of your heart. I know the weakness of your heart. I know who you are. I know the weakness of your heart. I know who you are. I know the weakness of your heart. I know the weakness of your heart. Meet your mate.
greet the Reaper for me. I watched the gate, but the one who should be dead is dead. I'll watch the gate no more. Can you feel the twisted pain? It's everywhere. They didn't die quietly. How satisfying. Teo ruvola and cri. Areno rotomiso. Dear me, have you lost your path? Simply choose a direction and ambulate until you strike the shore. Can you feel it? The twisted pain. It's everywhere. They didn't die quietly. How satisfying. Can you feel it? The twisted pain. It's everywhere. They didn't die quietly. How satisfying. Once there, well... Good to be back. Speaking of filth, 
hear your half-breed got her own. I'm not the... She left as you did. Look, do see you again. Perhaps. Dear me, have you lost your path? Simply choose a direction and act. Once there...
for me. Prepare yourself. You're not trying to escape, are you? something nearby.
the Seven and all the Saints. I ne'er dreamed I'd be grateful to be lying cold on the ground. I'm finally rid of that demon. Finally rid of that bloody voice. Not much more than you've been told, I'm afraid. She made a deal with some mighty dark forces, and now she's looking for a way out. I'm not sure that even my voice knew the terms. It was all very hush. Suspicion is she's promised to give up something powerful, though.
the tree's spirit embraces its putrid host, an elven ancestor lost to the same demonic disease that infests all of Blood Moon Island. Qui manducad omnio myrdos ects, it quot potest exe. Nin ect mehi, elgo pertidi ex ombre en mehre. A moment passes, then you feel it, clarity. You speak my name, you know my torture. Please, don't judge me for the sickness my roots have spread. I can be free, my soul cleansed. Naivety, stupidity, call it what you want. I wish to put the source within me to good use. And demonology seemed as good a use as any. Silly me. I meant to summon an imp or two. Instead, I ended up hosting a damned archdemon. The roaring in my head. The craving for living flesh. Urges. Good gods, the urges to kill, to hurt. The stronger they became, the harder I fought. And at some point, I was just gone, deadened, but not dead. And then, away, on an isle I'd never been, encircled by faces I'd never seen, watched by a man I'd never known. They called him Doctor. He shouted strange words, and the demon bellowed. Then, one by one, I... I know. I know. I watched my own hands slaughter. I tried to resist, but I couldn't. And then a final roar, when the demon rushed away and into the one left standing. The doctor. That was my last living memory. The demon may be gone, but its disease still infects my roots, birthing evil into the surrounding soil. While it lives, I am still its rotting servant. Yes, I was careless. And I've suffered for it. The Isle has suffered. But you can end it. You awakened me from nightmare with a single utterance. My name. How amazing that a name can wield so much power. Remember this lesson when you leave Blood Moon Island. The demon blackens another land now. It possesses the very doctor that liberated it. Speak its name, however, and you expose it. You weaken it. You'll know him when you find him. A doctor that accommodates a demon doesn't see patients, only victims. Destroy it, and you free me to the Hall of Echoes. Destroy it. And my roots taint this isle no longer. Now come closer. I'll say the demon's name only once. The spirit's voice is a harsh whisper. Adramalik. 